Okay, so this is the LG G2. It's got a 5.2 inch full LCD display at 424 pixels per inch, quad core Snapdragon 800 processor at 2.26 gigahertz, 2 gig of RAM, 16 or 32 gig of internal memory, and a 13 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization. Now, a lot has been said about the design of this phone. Um, obviously, it has the rear facing buttons on the back. Um, we won't talk about those much today. There's also some impressive software features too, like Q-Slide, Quick Memo, Knock-On and Slide Aside, as well as a bunch of other customization options. So on the back, we have the power button, volume up and down rocker. Uh, they also function as shortcuts to the camera and up to Quick Memo. But we'll get to those in a little while. Okay, first thing you can see when you turn the phone on, we've got the lock screen here and some nice effects. So if we go into About Phone, you'll see the G2 is rocking 4.2.2, which is always nice, and it should be getting the upgrade to 4.3 or maybe 4.4 before too long. If we hold down on the, long, on the home screen, we'll get a quick shortcut to our apps, widgets, and wallpapers. So you can change the wallpapers straight away obviously add any widgets you want to any of your screens and if you want to add any apps to your home screen this is the quickest and easiest way to do it now pinch on the home screen same thing we'll get all of our different home screens you can add and delete as you wish if you hold up you get the option for google now or a shortcut to quick memo let's see what quick memo does so quick memo, as you can see at the top here, you've got a range of options. You can write directly onto the home screen or you can switch to a yellow notepad background. But we'll write on here, say you're writing down someone's phone number and then you want to erase, maybe the last number is wrong, you can do that. You can change the color and pen style as well. And once you're in there, you can switch out of it It'll remain on the screen, and if you wanted to say add that person, that phone number to contacts, there you go. One, two, three, four, five. Easy phone number. Another cool software feature of the G2 is slide aside, which basically means whenever you are in an app, you can slide it aside and have multitasking going on with multiple apps. So, say you're in the Play Store and then you think of something that you want to do, three finger swipe to put it to the side. Same in the gallery, maybe you don't want that. And if you want them back, there they are on the side. And how about a message? So I'll push that to the side as well. So you can see at the top here, app is saved. Whoops. And we've got three. So there's the three apps that we've got. And if you want to get rid of them, swipe down. You can switch between them or pull them back out. Go that way. That's fun. Another cool feature is called Q-Slide, which basically lets you minimize the screen of an app and change the transparency. So say you're in the gallery and you're watching a video and for whatever reason you want to continue watching the video while doing something else, you can resize any size you like and you can also change the transparency. Although why you would want to do that, I'm not entirely sure. Oops. And you can have up to three different apps open at the same time. So maybe you're writing an email using the calculator and watching a video at the same time. It's pretty cool. Okay, if we go into settings and you can see we've got the four tabs up the top, network, sound, display, and general. Let's start with display. So home screen, go in, you've got your themes, wallpaper, screen swipe effects, which are kind of cool. I like carousel, let's leave it on that. Uh, what else do we have? Home screen looping for an endless cycle. And that's about it for there. Lock screen, you can select your screen lock, whether it's swipe or pin or face unlock. You can see your options. And shortcuts on your lock screen, which are pretty cool. You can obviously select the ones you want and pick any of the apps that you've got in your app drawer.
Front touch buttons, this is also pretty cool. You can change the touch buttons at the bottom on the front home screen. So if you have a particular selection or you're left or right handed, you can set it up the way you want. Let's put quick memo on our home screen. That's always good. What else do we have? We have smart options as well. So you can have on a bit of face recognition so your screen display turns off if you're not looking at it. And the same with video, it will pause if you're not watching it anymore. And general settings. Gesture controls, all the usual stuff. You can answer a call by picking the phone up, etc. Uh, knock on, that's rather cool too. If we turn that on and we go back here, double tap to turn your phone off, double tap to turn it back on. The notifications bar is also pretty cool. So you can see we've got our slider side apps listed at the bottom. Um, we've also got a whole bunch of tabs up the top, 20 altogether. Um, and you can obviously edit those, put them in whichever order you prefer. Um, what's interesting? Well, Miracast, that's cool. If we go in there, obviously, well, we're searching. But Miracast just lets you broadcast content from your phone to a Miracast-enabled television. You set up your hotspot, NFC, syncing, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, of course, and quick remote as a infrared blaster for your TV. Uh, Q-slide, we've already talked about, and quick memo, we've got there as well. Camera's pretty good on the G2, if I don't have my finger in the way. Um, there's a bunch of different modes, which we'd all be pretty familiar with. Normal, night shot, sports, full auto, time capture, dual camera, beauty shot, burst mode, which can take forever to delete if you get crazy, a panorama ring and panorama, HDR, and this one, which I think is pretty cool. Say so you're taking a photo of various things, Let's put our cleaning cloth and some one photo bombs. Then all you need to do is delete that person afterwards. Like so. Pretty simple, pretty cool. So that's a quick walkthrough of the software features for the so uh, Sony. For the LG G2, um, it's a pretty good phone. Uh, I like the display, it's fantastic, and I actually think the volume rocker and power button on the back is cool. It takes a little getting used to, but once you're used to it, it's great. And a lot of the additional functionality that LG have included on the phone, like the infinite customization and the uh, the new, oh, there they are, uh, like slide to slide, quick memo, etc. They're pretty cool, and they make for a pretty handy device. Anyway, what do you think?